Megs, you meet on a yacht somewhere. I doubt it. I mean, I'm not being funny, but Russian women, you know what I mean? They are like, you either got, you're either a babushka or a supermodel. There doesn't seem to be an in-between. <laughs> Oh, so I don't think Megsy's um, going to be on Putin's radar. Three little chickens went swimming today. <laughs> yeah, thank goodness William was born first. We'd be having some kind of tyrannical, uh, this is Ginger Awareness Month. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh. Uh. Let's have a look, how's William getting on with his stupid spare here? Harry's not even the spare anymore, is he? I mean, technically Princess Anne was the spare for quite a long while growing up, yet she hasn't inherited any of the problems. William, 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 William. I might do another reading after this one because there's a um, hashtag on Twitter saying F off Harry. <laughs> and you know he's got burner accounts on Twitter. So let's have a look. Let's have a look at William first. William, how are you getting on, lad? Five of Swords. He knows. He has got his brother's card marked. Not only marked, he's probably taking bets and probably probably going to win those bets on how his brother is going to behave. I've been saying for a while that William has got some energy around him that he is, of course, being briefed by the intelligence services, whatever shape or form that may take. It's not always, obviously, MI5 or MI6. There's definitely something, some underscore that William feels betrayed by his brother, but he knows exactly where he's betrayed him, who to and how. Harry doesn't even know that his brother will be switched on and knows what's going on, exactly what's going on. What's crossing over, William? The Emperor, his father. After all of those cards we pull for Harry, all of those cards we call, pull for Megsy, what's ha William's first concern? His father, the king. What's above the situation? The Empress. And it's in the upright. Now we can look at this as two ways. We could look at this as his late mother, Diana. We can also look at this as the mother of his children. His first concern is that protecting her. He is incensed by the way Catherine has been treated. The Empress also has links to children. And it's interesting that he is concerned about the children. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse. 
he is upset at the way his wife has been treated by his brother. I do not think we're going to get a clear indication of that. More clear indication of how William feels spread out in the cards. Queen of Pentacles, of course, relate, relates to an earth sign. Earth signs are Virgo, Taurus and Capricorn. And Catherine is a Capricorn. Ten of Cups in reverse, unhappy families. William didn't want his brother here. He doesn't want him here. It's all a mirage. There is stuff going on within the family. And I have to reverse a bit. I don't think there's anything wrong apart from what we know that is going on with William and Catherine at all. I think Charles and Camilla and William and Catherine all get on great. I think most of the royals do. Princess Anne, Sophie Edward, da 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 da. The Ten of Cups is in reverse. So there has been some emotional news. I feel that's definitely with William and his father. I don't think William wanted him here either because William knows that it isn't a smooth, happy family. And William knows that it's just a show, it's a veneer, it's just, it's all for show. He knows what his brother's doing. I don't think Harry's got the insight to realise that he is driven by narcissism and he's only, he thinks he's helicoptering in for due concern. Um, but it's actually his need to be connected to the drama and connected to the stuff. The royal family don't necessarily need to have like a motorcade going through the center of London every time they pop to somewhere. A lot of the time, Queen Elizabeth used to get around in, um, in a car with blacked out windows. Knight of Pentacles coming up. The star, William is hopeful. And the Ten of Swords surrounding him. He knows exactly what Harry's doing. He knows exactly what Harry's doing. This whole, I am going in noble and gallant to be around the people I've caused the most damage to. He knows exactly what he's doing. But William is quite hopeful for the future. Now we have the Knight of Pentacles coming in here. The Ace of Wands in reverse. And the Knight of Cups. What's going to happen there? Let me have a look here. William may, may, I'm not saying he's forgiven him, William may reference Harry in something relating to William's childhood. I don't believe William has forgiven him. I don't believe that is anything like that. But coming in the next weeks and months, William may reference Harry into something to do with their childhood. I don't know why but that's what's on the cards. I don't know if there's an anniversary or something to do with Diana coming up. I don't know. I don't know. The Knight of Cups, though, 
things are going to get a bit better for William later on in the year. Definitely. Um, he will seem more mellow, more optimistic. Um, I think there will be... There's going to be some... Hmm. I think William's going to reconcile some of the emotions he has against his brother. And that doesn't mean I think he is going to forgive his brother for what his brother's done, but I think he's going to soothe his emotions. That doesn't mean he's going to accept him back. I think William's done with him. He's done with the nonsense in its current form. The star's an interesting one, you know. I wonder if he's got Sophie for some help. Because Sophie is an Aquarian and the star is uh, the Aquarian in the tarot deck. So I'm wondering if that's it. Interesting. We shall see. Does the devil have a star sign? Yeah, Capricorn. <laughs> Would you believe poor old Capricorn and Scorpio is death, but it's like the death card isn't like, <laughs> no, that's probably something more like the moon or the four of swords, to be honest. Only a novice would say the death card. Mm -hmm. Moving on, guys. That's what I see. <laughs> 